Well, hello again. Welcome to the uh, early June version of uh, Coronaville Update. Uh, looks like we're heading out of Coronaville, thank God. Uh, it's been nice to walk around without a mask on in a few places and, uh, you know, enjoy some of that freedom. So, uh, lots happened. Uh, last month I did a 34 mile hiking trip with my buddies, my buddy Joe, and it was probably one of the hardest things I've ever done. <laughs> uh, really felt that uh, at the end of the trip, but, uh, you know, checked it off the, the list of stuff I wanted to do. And so that's good. Uh, as far as uh, the Buffalo League and uh, sticker business, uh, things are going pretty well. Uh, now I have eight hats, including uh, this cool Digi Camo, which is currently sold out. Uh, we have more coming in, hopefully today. Uh, I just dropped off about another 140 hats uh, at quality and, and cold in there, so we're going to be adding more inventory to the website. Uh, thank you to everybody who uh, has uh, supported this move by, uh, you know, purchasing some of this stuff. It's uh, really been fun. Um, another pretty cool uh, thing that I was involved with was this band Big Something that I've been listening to. Turns out their uh, fans are fans of pins, these, you know, little hat pins. I didn't know people were still collecting those. And uh, what I ended up doing was taking one of my cartoons of the lead singer, put an alien head on them, and then got 50 limited edition uh, pins made. All, all of those sold out except for the one. I kept number one just to, you know, kind of have as my own. Who knows, maybe someday I'll throw it out there for uh, an auction or something. But uh, really great support. And the coolest thing is when I saw an order come from uh, the lead singer and guitar player, uh, uh, Nick McDaniels. Uh, I saw that order. I thought that was the coolest thing. So I not only sent him his pin, but a few stickers I have, a cartoon of him. And uh, also threw him a Buffalo League hat, so it would be pretty cool if uh, he would wear that on stage maybe for one of these uh, festivals uh, that are coming up. Uh, it's kind of cool to see the uh, outdoor music festivals in that are opening up. But unfortunately, it's like we kind of planned a lot of stuff this summer with camping and all of that. Uh, so we're kind of missing out on some of those. And not to mention the ticket prices are, oh, they're pretty high. I know the bands and everybody's got to make up for lost ground, but hopefully by next year, this will kind of level back out. So uh, the average Joe and uh, music fan can get out there and see some of these guys. Um, so that's been good. Uh, you know, Piper's looking forward to the, uh, to the end of school and uh, Jen is working diligently uh, out of the home office still for the VA. She's now to a uh, four 10 hour uh, day schedule and has off on Wednesdays. So that's kind of neat. Uh, a lot of times my um, treatments and stuff are on Wednesdays, so, uh, you know, it's kind of nice to have the, the day off. But anyhow, uh, developments. So we got the scans last month, if you didn't hear. Uh, everything in the, my body here, the torso area, was clear or uh, things were so small they didn't pick up on the scan. So that means uh, the immunotherapy uh, is, is working, which is, uh, you know, great news. Unfortunately, uh, yesterday uh, they did an MRI and we got the call this morning that there's, uh, there's another tumor in my brain. This one is in a different spot. I can't even pronounce it. It starts with a P. It's a lobe. But it uh, turns out that it is uh, in control of a lot of, a lot of stuff. Uh, moving my arms and legs and coordination and smell and sight and... A whole lot of different things. So uh, they called me right away this morning and next week I'm scheduled to have the gamma knife uh, procedure done on this new spot again. Uh, last time, you know, the procedure itself wasn't hard, but the aftermath was the tough part. Uh, they'll have to put me on steroids uh, to control all the swelling, uh, which means I won't be able to be doing my cancer treatments while I'm on uh, the steroids. Uh, I'm going to have uh, insatiable appetite, probably gain even more weight. I'll have the big round face and probably be up all night again. One good thing when I was up all night the first time uh, that they did this to me uh, is when I kind of developed a lot of the stuff that I'm selling now. The hot wings stuff, the Buffalo League, the cartoons of the different people. Uh, that all came about from, uh, from those sleepless nights. So... I guess I'm going to have to put my thinking cap back on and, and uh, you know, uh, 
we'll see what else we can develop and make good out of this time. So, uh, unfortunately, that is uh, the bad news to go along with all the good news, but uh, such is life. Uh, we are going to uh, trudge ahead as always, and I will keep you posted. Oh yeah, one last thing. Uh, we got some cool t-shirts finally. The Jerry on t-shirt, uh, now available online. Uh, these got pressed in uh, at quality and in, 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 uh, cold in there. So uh, one of the first musician series or cartoon series t-shirts. Uh, I'm hoping to do uh, Josh Allen next. Anybody, if you know him or can get in touch with him, please get me in touch with him because I'd really like his sign off on this cartoon uh, and then use it for some beneficial uh, things, not only for myself, but uh, you know, for some of the organizations around. But uh, everyone still stay safe out there, be careful, uh, get vaccinated if you want to, don't if you don't want to. Uh, we're all gonna get through this and obviously the light is at the end of the tunnel. So uh, peace out for now, take care.